Payday is always exciting, but it can also bring a little stress. Many of us feel great when we get paid, only to worry a few weeks later when we realize we've spent too much too quickly. The good news is that by taking a few simple steps right after you get paid, you can avoid that stress and take control of your money. In this video, I'll show you how saving money and budget works. Also share six smart things you should do as soon as your paycheck hits your account. These steps will help you save, budget, and stay on track with your financial goals. Number one, create a priority-based budget. A budget is like a roadmap for your money. It helps you decide where your money should go and make sure you're spending wisely. Instead of seeing a budget as a restriction, think of it as a tool that gives you freedom because you'll know exactly what you can afford. One easy way to start is by using the 50 hours, 30 minutes, and 20 seconds rule. This means 50% of your income goes to needs like rent, groceries, and bills. 30% goes to wants like eating out or hobbies, and 20% goes to savings or paying off debt. This breakdown makes it easier to control your money and stay organized. The key is to focus on priorities first. Pay for your essential expenses, like housing, utilities, and food, before anything else. After that, you can decide how much to spend on fun stuff or non-essential items. Make sure to also set aside money for savings before you spend on extras. This way, your financial security is covered. For example, if you earn $3,000 a month, Using this rule means $1,500 goes to needs, $900 goes to wants, and $600 goes to savings or debt payments. With this plan, you can cover your basics while saving for the future and enjoying your hard-earned money responsibly. Number two, pay yourself first. Paying yourself first means putting money into savings before spending it on anything else. This is one of the smartest financial habits you can have because it makes sure you're saving for your future. Instead of waiting until the end of the month to see what's left to save, you set aside money for savings right after you get paid. One way to make this easy is by setting up automatic transfers. You can arrange for a portion of your paycheck to go directly into a savings account or a retirement fund as soon as it arrives. This way, you don't even have to think about it. It's out of sight, out of mind but your savings are growing. Even small amounts make a big difference over time. For example, saving just $100 each month might not seem like much, but after a year, you'll have $1,200 plus any interest earned. If you keep this up, your savings will continue to grow and you'll be building a financial cushion. The beauty of this approach is that you're prioritizing your financial future. You make sure your savings goals are being met and you don't accidentally spend the money on things you don't really need. It's a simple habit that leads to long-term financial success. Number three, tackle debt immediately. Debt can be a heavy burden, especially when it starts growing because of interest. That's why it's important to tackle your debt as soon as you get paid. The faster you pay it off, the less interest you'll have to pay in the long run, saving you money. Start by looking at your debts and deciding which one to pay off first. Some people like to use the snowball method, which means paying off the smallest debt first to get a quick win. Others prefer the avalanche method, which focuses on paying off the debt with the highest interest rate first, saving you more money over time. For example, if you have a credit card with high interest, it's smart to pay extra on it every month. Even adding an extra $50 to your payment can help reduce the amount of interest you pay. Tackling debt right away helps you free yourself from financial stress and gain control of your money. The less debt you carry, the more you can focus on saving and reaching your financial goals. Number four, set aside for future expenses, sinking funds. A sinking fund is a special savings account where you set aside money for future expenses like car repairs, vacations, or holiday shopping. Instead of being surprised by these costs and using a credit card or dipping into your savings, sinking funds help you prepare for them in advance. To create a sinking fund, start by listing any big expenses you know are coming up. This could include things like home maintenance, annual insurance payments, or gifts for special occasions. Once you have your list, divide the total cost of each expense by the number of months you have to save. For example, if you know you'll need $600 for holiday gifts in six months, you'll set aside $100 each month. You can create multiple sinking funds for different categories. You might have one for car repairs, another for a vacation, and one for holiday shopping. 
This helps you manage your money better and keeps you from feeling overwhelmed when these expenses come up. For example, if you set aside $50 a month for car repairs and $30 a month for holidays, you'll have enough saved when those expenses arrive without putting extra pressure on your budget. Sinking funds give you peace of mind and keep your finances in control by avoiding last minute scrambles for cash. Number five, start building an emergency fund. An emergency fund is your financial safety net. It's money set aside for unexpected events like medical bills, car repairs, or losing your job. Having an emergency fund can give you peace of mind because it helps you handle these surprises without going into debt. The ideal emergency fund should cover three to six months of living expenses, but don't worry if that seems like a lot. You can start small. Even saving just $25 or $50 from each paycheck adds up over time. The key is to build it gradually. For example, if you save $50 from every paycheck, you'll have $600 after a year. That might not cover every emergency, but it's a great start. As you save more, your emergency fund will grow and you'll be better prepared for whatever life throws at you. Keep this money in a separate savings account so you're not tempted to use it for everyday spending. The goal is to have it available only for true emergencies. By starting your emergency fund now, you can protect yourself from unexpected financial shocks and reduce stress in the future. Number six, plan for fun, but keep it controlled. Saving money doesn't mean you can't enjoy life. In fact, it's important to budget for fun activities like dining out, entertainment, or hobbies. The key is to plan for it so you don't overspend and end up regretting it later. Set aside a specific amount of your paycheck for fun, but make sure it fits into your overall budget. For example, you might decide to spend 10% of your income on things you enjoy. If you earn $3,000 a month, that would mean $300 for entertainment or treats. This allows you to have fun without feeling guilty or worried about your finances. By setting limits, you can enjoy activities you love without putting your financial goals at risk. It also helps prevent the feeling of burnout that comes from being too strict with yourself. Remember, it's okay to treat yourself, but moderation is key. Planning for fun in your budget means you get to enjoy life now while still saving for the future. It's all about balance, rewarding yourself responsibly while keeping your financial health on track. Taking control of your money as soon as you get paid is one of the best habits you can build. By following these six simple steps, you'll be on your way to better financial health. These actions don't just help you manage your money. They give you peace of mind and a sense of control over your future. Remember, it's not about making big changes overnight. Even small steps, like saving a little each paycheck or cutting back on unnecessary spending, can make a huge difference over time. The key is to stay consistent and keep your long-term goals in mind. Start today by trying just one of these tips and you'll be setting yourself up for financial success. Now, if you want to learn how to achieve financial success, then watch this video next. If you made it to this point in the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.